Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here to teach you uh, how to downgrade from uh, Freeboot 0.032 to 0.030 for those type of people that need to uh, flash KVs onto uh, their Falcon Zypher Opus or Jasper JTAGs. If you have a Xenon, you probably should not be looking at this video unless you like, really just like to waste your time, in which case you're an idiot. But anyways, um, all right, here we go. So what you want to do you want to download this program first of all it's called IHC you can find it over here let me go on 710 so you guys can see and of course we have the wonderful 504 which I really do hate uh, IHC IHC NAND tool right here here you go I mean well no this is just info oh shit one second let me find the alright here you go Look at the link up top. I will provide the link as well on the description of the video. Okay, so what you want to do, so you want to download this crap and you want to run it. Now, when you run it, it's going to ask you for an update and if it doesn't, well, you're good. If it asks you for the update, just do it. Who cares? Uh, IHC NAND tool right here. This is what you want to click. Uh-huh. Okay, so just click USB. It doesn't really matter. Motherboard revision. It's a uh, just click Falcon, Zypher, Jasper. Find out which one you have. If you don't, all of these three, the last three, have HDMI. Now the Opus and the Xenon don't have HDMI, but yeah, so you have to look at the at the power uh, output uh, cable thing. I mean, like where you put in the power, you have to identify it through that. So what you want to do is, in my case, I have a Falcon. Now what you want to do is you're gonna click. Uh, build freeboot 0 0.0032 image and it's gonna give you this basically this means that on 0 0.032 which is the latest you cannot swap KVs because the checks are still in if you try to swap KVs you will get Christmas lights which is really annoying to f they're easy to fix but it's just annoying getting them now if you're watching this tutorial you want freeboot 0 0.030 so you're gonna click yes obviously now you're gonna find your CPU key. Let me find mine. CPU key. That's my DVD key, and this is my CPU key. Let me click copy. Now put your CPU key. Just click go, and then tell you to find your original NAND dump. Now original NAND dump does not mean you, whatever freeboot it is you have as of right now. It's your original NAND, like not like no JTAG. It's just your original NAND. Let me delete UPD flash that bin right quick. Alright, click original NAND bin. Wait till it does this crap. Blah blah. Blah blah. Press any key. Yes. Now it's gonna bring this save and select save location for freeboot image. Just click desktop, it's the easiest one. Now uh, save as freeboot. Okay, you're good. Just click no right here and just exit this crap. Freeboot. Now this part is vital. Uh, rename it to UPD Flash bin. UPD Flash. All right, right there. You're good. Now bring up. Uh, you, you, I'm gonna FTP it over to my JTAG. So just give me a second. Win SCP. Login. Oh, I haven't gotten an XCX menu. Just give me a second. All right, there we go. This is my USB right here. There's my hard drive, and this is my USB. I already have a UPD flash dot bin in, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just gonna delete it. All right, so what you want to do is I'm FTPing, so all I'm gonna do is uh, drag and drop. I'm just going to drag it in there and wait till it finishes. Alright, now it's just a matter of time waiting until it shows up on my USB on my Xbox. Alright, so if you, do, if you do not FTP, then what you want to do is you want to uh, drag it over to your USB and launch up XCX menu. So from here on, I'm just going to use my HDP VR to show you guys how to do shit. Alright. Awesome, here we go. Blah 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 blah. Alright, you see UPD flash dot bin right there. 
this is the one I just put in and right, you're gonna click on flash 360.xex alright so you see where it says A click A B press start A and wait till it finishes writing now it's gonna give you all these errors or whatever your current NAND is not zero paired if you have a way to switch NANDs do so now that doesn't matter that's just there for being there don't pay any attention to that now press any button to continue now press back to return to main menu and back to shut down when it shuts down leave it uh, unplug all your crap for about 30 seconds or whatever or if you want to be a risk taker just don't do anything and just leave it in now you will know if it worked if when you sign back on uh, you get prompted with the login screen I will show you how. There we go. Now one second just so that you can see. Now if this comes up then you have successfully done it. Just uh, click all your stuff, 1080i for me because I'm on my HDPVR. Whatever, no skip it. Create a new profile. Just create a new profile, offline profile. Just click player one, E, -E whatever. Now wait till it brings you to the avatar crap. Just select any random avatar. No one cares. This dude. Save and exit. Now to show you that all of your profiles are corrupted. It says it's corrupted, but I cannot stress this enough. Don't delete them. It is not corrupted. It's not gonna let you sign on. So what you want to do is that you either want to recover it or put it on a USB drive or do something. Just figure something out. I don't know. Go to memory, all devices, my hard drive, whatever, my profiles, all corrupted. Now if they're all corrupted, then that means that you did it right that you're good and congrats you are now a hacker or whatever the fuck you want to call yourself so yeah this has been a tutorial to show you how to downgrade from this uh, freeboot 0 0.030 all download links will be in the description so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe thank you